what is up guy you've got the oracle there back for the finals with a blue black uh, aggressive Eldrazi deck that tends to uh, mulligan a lot i'm gonna keep my hand though it is uh fine uh <laughs> i don't have any two drop uh, <laughs> i think i never played a, uh, one of my two drop on turn two no i'm lying i'm just complaining a whole uh, a lot but you know i made it to the finals had some good top deck so <laughs> I should just be happy. We are playing a red deck apparently. And I drew another swamp, which is not my favorite, but I guess it means uh, I can cast that Brood Butcher. Um, this works well with Brood Butcher, by the way, because it's when a creature enters the battlefield, not when you cast one. Edron Archive. Oh, that would have been better earlier on. Um, <coughs> I think I'll still play my Flare Drone first. The reason is um, I want value out of this effect. And it, it is also quite a good beater if my opponent doesn't have a removal. Um, I could have played a Unknown Shore and the Mist Intruder, and next turn that of the Unknown Shore, and that means I'm sure that I can cast my Brood Butcher off the Vestige. But given the unknown shore, I think I, I'll end up being able to cast that. And playing like that uh, is a bit more aggressive, which I uh, which I like a bit more. And oh well, if the opponent has a removal, well, well, not much I can do. So basically, this draft we played blue red, then blue black, then blue red. <laughs> <laughs> Not what I expected. The oven does have a, a removal for my player for my flare drone, and everybody is using uh, <laughs> blue and colorless Eldrazi. And the oven drew there. Okay, sure. Um, hmm. Well, guess I'll play my dimensional infiltrator at the end of my of my oven turn, and I could. No, I, do, I will not have enough mana to use the ability, unfortunately. Uh, I don't think I'm winning this game. Ooh, Jory and... yeah. <laughs> that card is extremely strong. I think it means game over. I will just be uh, overwhelmed by card advantage, basically. Um, yup, yup, yup. So everybody was playing blue this draft. Still managed to have a decent deck, I feel like, or maybe... Maybe not. Maybe, maybe my deck is not uh, decent at all. Um, settlement is decent. Guess I'll play the brute butcher. Uh, it means I cannot attack, but I kind of want to get that online a sap, so I can deal with Sorian maybe. Um, this game has not gone too well so far. <laughs> that's that's for sure. I think I've faced Blinding Drone all in all my <laughs> matchups so far. Uh, all right, all right, and I'm playing one of my own. Um, anyway, yeah, the opponent is likely to play two decent spells this turn as well as drawing a card. I think I will just die to a uh, card advantage, unfortunately. Uh, but again, there's not a whole lot of things I can do about that. I could meal my opponent <laughs> if he used Jory too much. <laughs> uh, that being said, I don't like my chances too much for this game. Especially that, if, especially since if the opponent is thinking uh, a lot there, it means that he has a decent amount of options. So... Uh, but, uh, sorry about that. It is quite late. Um, what I was saying is that uh, things are looking grim. All right, nothing. I drew a Lando, which is not great. Uh, well, guess I'm gonna attack with those. No reason not to. If my opponent, if my opponents want to double block, uh, that's not going to be great for them. So I don't think it's likely to happen. If they take five, I'm happy. Uh, all right. Well, that was to be expected, I guess. I'm attacking with my butcher. Don't think he really want. He really wants to bounce that. 
He might do so. Sweep away. I don't think that's the best thing to sweep away. So it's a bit weird. Uh, since I can sacrifice it and I might just do that. Kinda wanna get rid of that Chori. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Um, alright. Expedite, sure. Mm, all right. Actually, I'm I I'm I'm fine drawing a brute butcher next turn. Actually, so I'm just gonna sack my infiltrate order. Uh, let's undo that. What happened? Can I add green of that, please? Yeah. All right. Sure. And yeah, as I said, I don't mind drawing uh, my Brood Butcher back and getting back a creature to kill his things. So, sure. Pull that on my uh, library. I mean, put that on my library if you want. No problem. That was a bit of a weird sequence. Even if it puts on the top of the library, a uh, bouncing uh, a creature with enter the battlefield effect is not the best. Especially since I managed to, you know, get off, get a bit of uh, of value out of my token. So I'm unsure that was a bit weird, I would say. So everyone, everyone is playing Eldrazi today. What a weird day. Free, okay. Well, I'm I'm glad that I killed uh, Jorian last turn. Alright. Uh, well, time has come to play a Brute Butcher once again. Alright. Honestly, I'm at 19. Um, my opponent has a bit of a better board, but Brute Butcher is strong. I have a Mist Intruder to sacrifice too. He doesn't have any really great attack. Yeah, I think I like my chances. Obviously if the opponent has another removal for my Brute Butcher it's annoying. What was that? Alright, so he really he is, he is really playing the tempo game, but the thing is he's gonna attack me for uh, 8 there and I will go down to 11. It's not I think I can I think I can come back in this game honestly. Not sure, maybe not. I guess we'll see. Um Weird. Bouncing those thing. Uh I could have played a Miss Intruder, I don't think I gain a lot by doing that though. Obviously if my opponent has some more rolling waters, that's not gonna be good for me. That being said, uh, if he doesn't have a removal, he can only attack with the free runner. And uh, I guess I'll go to 8 and kill that next turn. And after that, I have the Oracle of Dust. Uh, things might not be so, so bad for me. It was a bit of a weird game, though. <laughs> yeah, and it still is. Uh, the opening. The opponent bouncing my uh, Brood Butcher a, a lot of time was quite a weird lantern, sure. Well, that provide my opponent with a uh, card advantage. Um, guess I'll play my Oracle there. Uh, well, whatever. Can I... Whoa, what is that? Okay. <coughs> I could also play Miss Intruder, but I kind of want to keep the Brood Butcher ability available if needed. Uh, the fact that my opponent is going to be able to scry is a bit threatening. That being said, I'm again, I'm not really dead yet by any mean. <coughs> I have this inverter of truth. 
which seems more and more awful each time I play it. Well, Membrane is not the best thing against a Brute Butcher, so I don't mind that too much, honestly. Uh, sure. I guess it's a removal, but... Uh, yup. Still don't think that my oven has really any good attack here. Uh, sure, I'll block here. And then... Uh, kill that using the token and just take two. Next turn I can sacrifice, sacrifice that pretty freely. Uh, I'm not in the best spot, but honest, honestly things are not looking too too bad. I drew Runus Pass too. Ooh! Uh, that I can appreciate. I'm definitely killing that uh, stooping, stupid bursting uh, thing, animating that land. I'm not sure that I'll be able to, that that I can afford to attack though. <coughs> Ooh, that's sweet. <coughs> so we we might come back in this game, ladies and gentlemen. It would be a weird outcome, but my opponent didn't play the most efficiently. I, I would argue. He put a card on top though, which cannot be a good sign. And with that information I think that I will not attack yet and see what it is before starting anything too stupid. A coils, okay. That might have been the card they kept. Again, that's quite bad uh, against Brood Butcher. But apparently, the oven drew also a Boulder Salvo. <sighs> Why are things so so unfair <laughs> with me? <laughs> Should I play that Inverter of Truth and try to kill my opponent in four turns? Yeah. <laughs> Time has definitely come to invert some truths. Uh, let's keep that open for the regeneration. And yeah, I guess le I guess I have the swim though. Let's invert the truth and <laughs> see where it where it leads us. Uh, I kind of wanted to redraw my brute butcher too. Um, <laughs> that game have been a blast. I, I had a lot of fun. Not sure that I'll end up winning, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> At least uh, things were fun. The oven put a card on bottom and we'll scry again at the upkeep. And bottom again. Alright, <laughs> we might do something there ladies and gentlemen. Because that kills my opponent in three turns actually and I have uh, an un unnatural endurance to regenerate if needed. Uh, and I'm only drawing spells. Uh, so ooh, we'll see how it goes, but uh, might end up fine, especially if if I draw the brute butcher first. Um, Infiltrator is a two-one flying, but can block, which is the good news. Um, all right. I think I should attack there, honestly. Uh, maybe not with that one, though. Mm, actually, yes. Yes, let's play it aggressively. Let's be crazy. We are not playing Inverter of Truth to help back the attacks. Spell trivial, well, it's a good thing to know about. <coughs> Alright. If the opponent puts a card on top, I will definitely remove it from the game. But, um... Alright. I, I, I hadn't any stop on his upkeep though, which is quite stupid. Um... Mm -hmm. 
to I have to block them now no matter what um, I think I'd rather block like that too alright use that ability cause why not I might might get a land and yeah that's sweet. <laughs> that's really sweet actually. That was sweet. I forgot about the the fact that you <laughs> you get it back in hand. Another Mao is a bit annoying though. Anyway, let's uh produce a blue of that and recast the infiltrator. I think I have enough blocker next turn and my opponent is just dead. <laughs> <laughs> of the inverter of truth. Uh can I kill him next turn? No, I can attack for eleven currently, which is not enough. Alright. Runus Pass! Amazing, amazing. So now I'm definitely in great shape. Um I think I'll attack with only that so I don't die to a threaten effect. Because if I attack with more, I do die. And my opponent is dead next turn no matter what. So, yup. Alright, that seems about right. And I guess I'll Runus pass that now. Um, and I guess I'll animate the same land just because if I don't, it will be tapped. Uh, it, it will provide me with a 2-6, which is a decent body. And I guess that's gonna be game, unless the opponent top decks. So basically the, <laughs> the inverter of truth came through. I don't think my opponent has a lot of... I mean, he can just top deck a burn spell and kill me though. So there is that. But that aside, I'm not sure that he has many outs. Top. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Will I just get burned? That'd be so sad. That'd be so sad. That'd be the saddest day <laughs> of my life. He is attacking with the whole squad, pretty much as expected. And I kind of have to make my blocks, I mean... I think this is the safer block I can make. If the opponent did draw the trample trick, well, I just die. But there's no block that saves me. Um, I guess I'll endure endurance that thing, and F6, and most likely die to something. Maybe. Uh, we'll see. The opponent needs a flyer there, and he got a flyer, alright. I'm drawing a spell though, and I drew my butcher, and do I have enough mana? No, no I don't. Um, but I'll be able to block, so it should be fine. Um, anyway, let's attack with the Inverter of Truth. Um ah, actually I missed the kill the kill I'm so so stupid I, I'm quite sure I missed the kill there cuz I could have actually no I don't think I have enough mana I could have tapped those No cuz I need more lands or to tap a creature so oh I didn't miss a kill never mind never mind with a bit more mana, I could have killed my opponent though. By playing Butcher, sacrificing the, the token or that thing to kill the Crawler and attacking with everything. Um, but uh, I don't have enough mana to do that actually. <coughs> that being said, I, I still think I'm winning this game. Unless the opponent top decks. <laughs> <laughs> so I might win with no cards in my library, and that'd be the sweetest, sweetest reward. Uh, 
<laughs> for the inverter of truth. Um, anyway, the oven is taking a bit of time there to decide whether he or she wants to chump block or not. And uh, I guess, yeah, that's uh, that's something you need to choose. He really needs a burn spell next turn, though. That's I I think that's the only thing that saves uh, my opponent, because any type of flyer will die to to the brute butcher. Um, so yeah, I think it is basically mountain or die. Anyway, um, let's cast this. No, that didn't work as planned. So, <laughs> let's do it again. This, this, and black, 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 I guess. Don't f ah, actually blue. Uh, yup, that seems about right. All right, and that provide me with enough blockers. Uh, if my opponent top deck a removal for the dimensional infiltrator, I do die too, though. So there is this issue. <laughs> uh, just, uh, yeah, it just needs a removal. But we managed <laughs> to win <laughs> with no cards in the deck of the Inverter of Truth. Lord. Lord. <laughs> I didn't thought this would work. Well... That was great! Ooh, this draft was funny if nothing else. Uh, I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. Anyway, um, might add in the interference on the play, as I mentioned, uh, match 2. But for now, I will just uh, keep the deck the way it is, basically. That last game was extremely sweet, though. I think the opponent made a few mistakes, though. Because those bounce on the Brute Butcher was, were quite... Mm, medium, I would say. My hand is amazing. <laughs> River Drone, Culling Drone, Scour, Endurance, Matter Reshaper. Uh, this is some constructed... Uh, <laughs> uh, start. <laughs> How funny. My oven might just play a blinding drone next turn and I, I, I'll look like a fool though. That might very well happen. I drew an, an island too, which is great. If my oven doesn't play a creature there, I, I'll be in such a great spot though. Alright, no creature, I can appreciate that. And I drew my best removal. My best and only removal. So this might be a very good game for me. I think it's the first time I, I'm actually happy about my draw. Most of the time I make a, a slow draw and then just win <laughs> off some top decks out of nowhere uh, at the end of the game. So that was quite funny. Um, Blinding Drone was a sweet one to draw. Alright, that was really good. That was probably the best thing I could dream of. And now I can freely attack with my squad. If he blocks, I'm fine. Uh, endurancing. If he doesn't block, he doesn't block. That's fine too. Uh, but given the blinding drone, you know, my opponent is kind of forced to block there and use my trick. Might not do that. If he if he just take four, I'm happy too. Um, the draw. I'm. I mean, the <laughs> the sequence I'm making there is good on the draw, but would have been completely sick on the play. Um, anyway, I guess uh, he took 4 there, which is fine with me. Plays a force land, and I guess something else, I would assume. If I draw a swim next turn, that'd be, that'd be quite delicious. <coughs> cannot F6 there, because if he has a burn spell, I need to protect my uh, creatures. Alright, if he just plays a lantern, that's fine with me. He might have the bounce spell. 
but you know, there's not a whole lot I can do about that. Crumbling vestige. Kinda wanna kill that thing actually. Get rid of it. Um I could tap it and attack though. I cannot tap and play matter reshaper. That's a concern I guess. Um hmm. What is my best play? I think hmm it's not too easy though. I think it is to cast that get a black play my calling drone attack with my sky scour only and most likely get bounce on the top of my library yeah there's just not much else I can do if he does have the sweep away oh well uh, he didn't have that though which is good news. Now I can tap his thing at the end of his turn. I guess his or her turn. He scried a card to the bottom, which is something I can appreciate. And I feel like I'm in a really sweet shape there. Uh, my opponent might do dangerous thing though. We'll see what happens. But I'll be able to attack for quite a bunch next turn. If it just plays a big creature, I'd be happy because I can tap that and then kill the big creature and attack with my squad. And uh, otherwise, uh, I guess we'll see. Yeah, we made it. We did play the aggressive draw <laughs> and not uh, dirtling with the stupid inverter of truth to to steal a game out of nowhere like. <laughs> <laughs> like most of the other matches, uh, that draft was uh, extremely interesting though. Uh, I'm not saying that because I think I will win, uh, this game is rather unsure now. It is just that no matter what will happen or, you know, even if I lose this final, I'll still be quite happy about this draft, it, it was really funny. Um, so the opponent could have a... Um, a uh, turn against. Honestly there's not a whole lot of things I can do about that. So I guess I could keep a natural endurance available though. Uh, hmm. Yeah, actually yeah, if he has that, it's quite bad against a blinding drone. So I think I can just cast my matter reshaper, attack with the squad, and pass the turn. Yeah, um, turn against is not great against uh, a blinding drone. I guess he can steal it. If he, if he steal that, still it's not the end of the. I'm not sure. We'll see what happens. It just takes six. All right, maybe he, he or she just doesn't have anything. That seems quite unlikely with six mana and four cards in hand, unless the four cards are land. Weird. Is my opponent really that unlucky? Maybe he might have a rolling waters in hand though. Seven drop would make sense given what he did so far. So I, I kind of expect Rolling Waters there, or a 7 drop of some sort. Vorian is strong, but currently fine, I would say. The opponent is at 6 though, which is really not a whole lot. And I've managed to play my Matter Reshaper that draft, that was sweet. That was definitely a sweet draft. 
Not sure how the opponent is gonna come back in this game. Uh, you know, my hand is not empty, so there is that too. Well, guess I'll tap the Herald there. My opponent is gonna draw a card of Chori and will most likely have to chump with it next turn. Not really chumping because of unnatural endurance actually and free run or two. Alright, alright. I drew a shrieker, which is nice. Uh is that my best play though? So let's say I kill Jory and attack with the whole squad. My opponent Unfortunately I cannot kill plus unnatural endurance, I'm lacking a mana. But my opponent will have to trade here which is not very great for them and go to one. So that seems uh, that seems fine. Do, uh, yeah. Just don't have a kill otherwise. I guess I can attack with everything. No, actually never mind me. Uh he's just dead off uh, because of the endurance. Because he blocks two thing and then uh, dies from endurance. Okay, so my opponent is actually dead on the board. Good thing I didn't ruin his pass. That would have been a bad misplay. He is likely to block here and here. I would assume I will just endurance that, and he will take he or she will take six, and that should seal the deal. All right, pretty much what I expected. I guess that should uh that should be enough unless my opponent is playing force of will in which case he would not die. All right, so we managed to win draft with a matter reshaper trigger on the stack and we managed to win a game of the inverter of truth that was extremely sweet. Um so I hope you enjoyed uh this draft. Uh, I had a lot of I definitely had a lot of fun playing. And uh, if you did, feel free to subscribe or leave a like, it is appreciated. And I see you guys for another one.